Well, the St. Ledger may be the big race of the weekend, but with a 3-1 to one on favourite, it's not much of a betting race. The Portland handicap, 40 minutes earlier, certainly is, though, and Ben Hutton joins me on the phone now to look ahead to the race. And, Ben, in a competitive contest of this nature, pretty tight, as you'd expect, at the head of the market. Yeah, there'll be lots of conflicting opinions between punters, and uh, it's possible to make a case for, for plenty of them. I think prodigality is going to head the betting, and, and certainly does at the moment. My worry with that one is whether this slight drop back in trip, um, the Portland's run over the intermediate trip of five furlongs and 140 yards, and he's been finishing that well over six furlongs. I'm just slightly worried he might get going too late um, over this, this slightly shorter trip, but that's not to say he isn't respected. So you're not sounding too keen on the favourite. Eight of the last ten winners have started at double-figure prices, so is there one at decent odds you fancy? Yeah, at the moment I'm eyeing up face the problem. Um, 14 to 1's available with Ladbrokes, 12 to 1 generally. Um, one here, three starts to go over five furlongs, kept on really well, and the last twice over five furlongs, he hadn't, didn't get the best of runs on, on one occasion. He's been second, and I think this extra half furlong and a bit he'll, um, will suit him really well. He's seven pounds higher than he, when he won um, over five furlongs at Doncaster three starts ago. Um, and the runner-up has since ranked that form. And that's Kingsgate Choice, who could also run. But they'll um, they'll be facing each other on exactly the same terms. Kingsgate Choice has also gone up seven pounds. So I think Face the Problem can can maintain the supremacy. Very strongly, and Face the Problem has burst through now with the nose band of Master Rooney. Face the Problem wins to Kingsgate Choice and Master. Rooney. And just thinking back to the likes of Hal Mahera and Fantasy Believer, old stages have done pretty well in this contest down the years. And do you think one of the veterans could cause an upset? Um, possibly. It's very difficult to rule, rule out anything with um, complete authority. I suppose um, in races like this, you, your first port of call has to be the, the younger progressive ones, um, such as Rex Imperata. Um, I, I, I backed him at York when he was unlucky, and it's, it's just whether he's... He's, he keeps going off at shortage prices, and it, it, it might be the time to stop backing him. Um, a, another one I, I fancy, a four-year-old who was apparently exposed, but um, the hood's gone on recently, and he's been running a bit better his steps. Um, one at Newmarket, two starts ago, and then last time at Ascot, five furlongs, good to firm. Um, he stayed on really well for fourth, and, and I think with a drying forecast, might be a similar surface on Saturday, and the extra yardage, based on the way he kept on then, I think it... It, that'll suit him extremely well. So I would probably make Steps my second choice behind Face the Problem. 